and do this. Hey everybody, welcome back to an episode of Pay Per Review. You might notice a little setup in our stances. That's because I won predictions. Yeah, he's champion this time. You know, yeah. Like and uh, I'm top machine. Top machine. Out. And me and this guy, we are co-hosts of this United States Wonder Shop Championship. My championship. We're not going to play Tug of War like Brock and Roman did for yeah. WrestleMania a few years ago. They're the United States champions. Are you going to do like uh, NATO and Takahashi? That's what Takahashi did just... He snuggles it. Yeah, he just, you know, looks like he having sex. Okay, anyway. You know what? If you guys are going to snuggle with it, I'm just going to, like, be Naito and just be dis disrespectful to that shit. Are you just going to throw it around? Yeah. You're just going to kick it around? Actually, no, I'm not going to throw it around and kick it around because these studs fall out too easy. Uh -huh. Piece Let's of shit. go to the show because, you know, this camera is not going to last. Yeah, but anyway, enough of We're here to review WWE Payback. Yeah, I was just about to get that. It's not a bitch. Mass, but anyway, we started off with the pre-show. Pre-show. Uh, yeah. We had a tag team match involving uh, Enzo and Mori and Big Cass. How you doing? Taking on Luke Gallows and Carl. Oh, Anderson. I'm doing okay, by the way. Oh, I hope you are. Yeah. You? I, I hope you are with your allergies. But yeah, I'm doing all right. Yeah. 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 Allergies good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, fellas, what you, you think? Still about sound a bit snotty, but still. Yeah. What do you think about this match? Uh, I didn't see any of this match because while this was going on, I was driving. Yeah. All I know is Enzo a match got the Enzo a match. Enzo a match. Enzo a match got the quick roll to win the Amore. Okay, Malcolm. It was a good match. It was okay. I guess. Uh, it was acceptable. It was acceptable. It was acceptable. It was good. It was great. It was okay. I didn't watch because I was in the back seat with them while we were driving. Yeah. Anyway, Enzo Amore, Big Cass got the win. Uh, six minutes, thirty-five seconds. Two out of five. Two out of five? Yeah. That's what I put on this card. Mm -hmm. How about yep. that? Yep. Nice. And Rod got the right pick, so he got the point. Yeah. What to know? And then we had Ms. TV with special guest Finn Balor. And he had the Balor Club with him. Mm -hmm. And the Miz basically listed off some of his accomplishments. You know, Finn Balor's been all over the world from Europe, Japan, Mexico, everywhere else in between. Everywhere he's been, he's been a what? Champion. <coughs> been a what? Champion. Okay. Um, basically, uh, Finn has said that he wants back his Universal Championship. Well, he got, he got asked what's next for Finn Balor. Oh, he yeah. just said, I'm going to take back my title. Yeah. And then the Miz said, well, you do know who the champion is. Brock Lesnar. He said, I could break him in half. <laughs> Joke. Well, no, he said... Uh -uh, uh, he'll mouth forward you. He said... Brock could beat you. Hell, I could beat you. Yeah. And then that's when Finn Balor kicked his ass, as usual. Well, Miss asked, what does it take to join the Balor Club? Yeah. Early on. And, you know, Finn said, that's not up to me. That's a club decision. They don't want you in. No. <laughs> but. I would put Maurice in, though. Man, yeah, debatable. Yeah, okay. I mean, she's fine and all, but. Debatable. It, it's, it's a club decision. Okay. Anyway, but the Miss went up joined the Balor Club. As in, the Ballard just kicked your ass club because he drop kicked the Miz. Yeah. And he gave him a sling blade. Yeah, and then that was pretty much it. Yeah. Miz ran off like a bitch. As always. So then, the show started with the United States. What's up, Jackass? Huh? Oh, I thought it was upside down. No, it's not no. upside down. What the fuck, man? Yeah, but anyway, I'm sorry. it was the face of America, as he calls himself, Kevin Owens, coming in as the. United States Champion. I hate you, Chris. Taking oh. on Chris Jericho. Now, the stipulation was... Drink it in, man. I like what he said uh, on Tuesday night. Smack it down, man. This is the show of Jericho. Smack it down, man. Now, if Chris Jericho were to win, he was going to be the United States Champion and go to SmackDown. With as, Kevin Owens. Yeah, as we stated in the preview, the belt got drafted. Yeah. Not the stars. Yeah. Well, Kevin Owens was drafted, though. Well, because he's holding the belt. Yeah. yeah. It's like when uh, SmackDown drafted the Miz. Yeah. They only drafted the belt. Yeah. But as we said in the preview, whoever won got to go to SmackDown. They got drafted. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, this was actually a good match. At one point, Jericho had him in the walls of Jericho. And, of course, who got to the ropes? Kevin Owens' finger. And the he, finger of America. He worked that shit over. Yes. After he put it on the list. Yeah. He put his finger on the list. Put it behind the steps. 
this was actually better than their match at WrestleMania. I shall say. It was. Do you it, agree? it wasn't as long and drawn out and boring. It was yeah. meh. It was meh. You know, we went from bad to meh to great. It was in the meh category. It was. But Chris Jericho ended up winning. He became the new United States champion for the second time. Mm -hmm. Now on SmackDown Live, he ended up losing the belt. And he Kevin got Owens. fucked on real bad. Yeah, he got fucked on real bad. Yeah, because uh, he's going back on Toro Fozzie. Yeah. And he wouldn't have been able to defend it because he was playing a gig the same night as Backlash. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. But anyway, Chris Jericho won on Sunday. 17 minutes, 55 seconds. We're giving this a three and a half. The next match was for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. MJ, take over. It was the king of the cruiserweights, Neville, defending against the greatest man who ever lived, Me. Austin Aries. And, and the greatest banana that ever riped. And this guy. And Austin Aries for a coat. Anyway, this match was actually good. I say it was kind of up there with their match at WrestleMania. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. But the ending was just so sudden. <sighs> you know, let me paint the picture for you. Aries locks in the last chancery. Yeah. Neville is frantically going for the ropes. He grabs the referee's hand. No, he grabbed the shirt. No, he grabbed the hand first. Then the shirt. Then the shirt. Then he threw the referee. He's referee. Like, Ugh. Yeah. Referee threw the match out. Austin Aries won the match. By disqualification. But he did not win the belt. No. Almost had it. And we did pick Austin Aries, right? We picked Austin Aries. Yes. So we all got a point on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, wait. Oh, yeah. We picked uh, Kevin Owens for the last match. Nobody got a point on that. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. But for this match, we get a point on a technicality. We said Austin Aries wins. We didn't say oh. how. How or if he got the belt or not. Like we said, he won by disqualification. Austin Aries kept saying, I had your number. I had your number. And he did. So it's that's true. twice he's come this close to the Cruiserweight Championship. And you know what's great about this match? No T.J. Perkins. Oh, no. no. Or as they it's call him. T.J.P. No. TJ, I'm sorry, T.J.P. Yeah. No douchebag of the dab. And none of, yeah, none of that shit. Would you stop doing that? Ah! He fucking does it. And it's yeah. fucking annoying. That doesn't mean you get to. Well, I'm just saying. That is not a good role model for you to follow. Anyway, uh, anyway Austin Aries won by DQ. 11 minutes, 20 seconds. We're giving this a 3 out of 5. Now let's move on to the next match for the WWE uh, Raw Tag Team Championships. It was the Hardy Boys. Ah, uh, yes. Taking on Cesaro and Sheamus. So Sheamus. Cesaro, as I like to call him. So I don't know anymore. I don't know. Yeah, what Malcolm said. Anyway, this was a pretty good match. It yep. was really, really good. Even when Jeff Hardy got a tooth kicked out of his head. Yeah, I saw an article where Brian Alvarez said on the podcast, if he were Vince, he would have fired Sheamus for that. Oh, yeah. yeah he, did, he said that for real. He kicked the shit out of I mean, he kicked the sh Yeah, like you said, he kicked the shit out of Jeff. Like, <laughs> fuck. Sheamus has a nasty habit of being too rough. Yeah. I mean, fuck when he returned. And, um... Fought Daniel Bryan. He fucked him. Yeah, up. a lot of people grilled him on that. He, he went rough, man. Yeah, but like we said, this match was pretty rough. Good. Sexual feelings. <laughs> what? Yeah, rough. <laughs> it was. It was very rough. <laughs> Even when you lose a tooth. Anyway, this match was very enjoyable. Agree, fellas? Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. Yeah. It was very delightful. Delightful. Very delightful. Oh, yeah. Not at all obsolete. Yeah. No. But the Hardy Boys retained the championships. For After the match, they both shook hands, you know, sportsmanship. Try to show And then, while the Hardys were celebrating, Cesaro blasted Jeff Hardy off the rope. He took a nasty spill, man. Yeah, they basically pulled the heel turn, which I can actually get behind. I actually like this. And so the fun part was, Cesaro looked like he was having fun with the, the heel turn. Yeah. I mean, he's been a heel before. The only thing I hate about this is when they say, we don't set the bar, we, we are, are the, the bar. bar. That's fucking lame. <laughs> That's fucking dumb. We are the bar. If you're the bar, why don't you have the belts? Well, you know who sets the bar? They go hard. Say yeah, yeah. Only four more weeks till Dash Wilder's back. Yeah, and his uh, sewed-up job. But anyway, yeah. the Hardy Boys retained despite getting beat down at the end. 12 minutes, 45 seconds, 4 out of 5. What were you going to say? Uh, he, they got fucked on this. Oh, despite getting
getting beat up. Jeff already lost a fucking tooth. Matt already got busted wide open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, uh, Cesaro and Sheamus with that that move on uh on Jeff. Yeah. Like where Cesaro kept ramming him chest first in the pole and then Sheamus kicked him in the pole. Yeah, with the bro kick. Yeah, that was fucking vicious. Yeah. I loved it. It we was all great. Loved it. I mean, I hate that, you know, Jeff Hardy lost a tooth and Matt Hardy got busted open, but all that's right. a really good heel turn. All right, let's go, y'all. Anyway, moving forward. All right, anyway. This match is for the WWE <laughs> Raw Women's Championship. It was the hometown girl, Bailey, in front of her hometown crowd of San Jose taking on five feet of three. Little Miss Bliss, Alexa Bliss. Little Miss Snack Pack, am I right, fellas? Hell yeah, Little Miss Scrumptious. This was an okay match. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything to write home about, yet it wasn't anything to, you know, sniff at. Yeah. It was meh. It was meh. It was in the meh category. It was meh. Could have been in the great category, but it was in the meh. It was teeter, you know? It was meh on the verge of meh. Yeah. Long story short, you know, Bailey performing in front of her hometown crowd, doing what she does, Alexa doing what she does. Alexa pulled off the upset with the DDT. She is the new Raw Women's Champion. She is the first woman to win not only the SmackDown Women's Championship, but the Raw Women's Championship. She is now three-time Women's Champion and basically just shutting the crowd up in San Jose. Blissy Baby came through for us. Yeah. I picked, I picked Bailey. These guys picked Alexa Bliss. So I got a loss there. Uh, other than that, 11 minutes, 15 seconds, three and a half. Mm -hmm. Now, oh. here's a match we're just going to sum up. We're not even going to come back to it. It was the House of Horrors match. Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. Okay, whoever got the idea for this, they, they were seriously paying attention to Resident Evil Biohazard. <clears throat> I'm just going to say it. But... The, it, it started out at, I'm guessing it was a new Wyatt compound. It was some random house WWE bought off the market, and now they're putting it back up for sale. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, it it was actually a little better than what, what I was expecting, the, the, the pre-film stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Although, why the fuck is Randy Orton lot, riding in a limo without a shirt on? That was weird. That, that, he... <laughs> He came in the limo with elbow pads, you know, part of his ring gear, jeans. Flat, yeah, jeans. Bray Wyatt, looking like a fucking. He was in the wife beater, man. He was a wife beater. <laughs> he had he had bills paid. He had business to take care of. Anyway, like we said, we business to take care of. You should have cleaned that messy ass house. I'm a yeah. mm -hmm. Anyway, we like the pre the pre taped stuff, and especially Bray Wyatt dropping that refrigerator. Yeah. That was that was pretty good. I fucking hate you. Ugh. Yeah, it's like, it's sorry, like, man, I don't have enough in the fridge. Eat yeah. the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so <Proteins. then laughs> later, he came back to the arena. Randy Orton snuck up behind him. They fought in the arena, fought outside and stuff like that. Jinder Mahal and the Singh brothers came in. Well, at first it was the Singh brothers. Yeah, it was the Singh brothers. One of them got thrown out, the other got power slammed. Bray Wyatt got RKO'd, and we thought... Ball game. Yeah. But no, Jinder Mahal cracked Orton on the back of the head with Orton's title. Mm-hmm. And Bray Wyatt picked up the win with his sister Abigail. Mm -hmm. And so this match ended up lasting 17 minutes, 10 seconds. You know what, fellas? I'm just going to give this some one. Uh, I mean, I felt that it was great that they had the Singh brothers and Mahal come in and weave that storyline in. Yeah. But this match was... Gay. Okay. Pathetic. What Malcolm said. Well, and what MJ said. Would you take this match over the WrestleMania match or in its entirety? They both sucked. Well, honestly, for me personally, I would have taken I would taken this over the WrestleMania match. Yeah, because that that pre show that pre film stuff was actually pretty good. Yeah, but overall the match was stupid and it, it was. Sucked. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to a match that was somewhat better. Oh man, to get to move on to greener pastures. Yeah, <laughs> it was. The Kingslayer, as they're calling him now, Seth freaking Rollins, taking on the Samoan submission machine. Samoan Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> Fellas, what do you think about this match? This match was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was actually good. Um, we all know Samoa Joe was the one who put Seth on the shelf uh, a few weeks back, a couple months back. Um, you know, this match was good for what it was. Seth Rollins ended up winning, what was it, a roll-up? Yeah, 
Rollins won with a roll up. Yeah, he won with a roll up. He Rollins, uh, he won with a Rollins up. Ah, nice. But uh, Samoa Joe just looked shocked as ever. Like, like what the fuck happened? Like, bro, I I was legitimately shocked. Yeah, I was legitimately sh what, what he said. But anyway, we both picked Seth Rollins. We all picked Seth Rollins, correct? No, we picked Joe. I think I picked. We Joe. all picked Joe. Yeah, we all could Joe. Yeah, because we yeah. thought, hey, it's Joe's first pay-per-view. He's not going to lose. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> he did lose. 15 minutes, 55 seconds. I'm giving this a two and a half. And now for match of the night. This is definitely match of the night. This was brutal. It was very, very brutal. <laughs> we thought it was... That's what we thought of the match. Like, <laughs> Strowman was just going to dominate Roman Reigns. Or Roman Reigns is just going to come back and win. But it ended up turning out to be a very, very good match. It was. As usual, Braun Strowman comes out there screaming his lungs mm -hmm. out. Roman Reigns gets booed out of the building. Well, hang on. He came out there. Like, it took him a while to get out there. Yeah, with his shoulders. But when he came out there, he was selling that shit. Yeah. He and was legitimate. He looked legitimately hurt. Yeah. And like we said, this was this turned out to be a very good match. Yeah. Um, Braun Strowman was, to me... He looked like he was basically on the offensive. Roman had a little bit of defense, but like he said, he was selling the shoulder injury, this and that. Um, Braun Strowman got the victory over Roman Reigns. Now, I like what happened before um, the victory. Yeah. He hit one power slam. Not, not a running power slam, just like, you know, regular power slam. He kicked out. Reigns kicked yeah. out. Strowman sold that shit so well. Yeah, he did. And then he picked him up and did a running power slam. One, two, three, Darn. ball game. And then afterwards, Braun comes back down to the ring. He just beats down Roman Reigns, just beats him down. Brutalized him. He takes his steps, just beats the piss out of him. He drops Reigns face first on the steps. Yeah. Then he picks the steps up as high as he can go, drops it right on Reigns' collar. Yeah. What well, looked like his ribs. It was either his ribs or his collar. Yeah. And I, I thought he was aiming for the throat. Yeah. And yeah. Roman just started literally, like, literally bleeding all over the place. It was horrible. And a lot of fans were training, you know, you deserve it, blah, blah, blah. Now, I will give Roman credit. That did suck. That was horrible. Now, yeah. I'm not going to chant, you know, you deserve it because, you know, that could have happened to anybody. I will chant, that was awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. But Be because he sold that shit like a million bucks. He looked like he was coughing up blood legitimately. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He looked like he was really hurt. And then afterwards, uh, he got to the ambulance. I'm not finished with you yet. Yeah, and then <clears throat> Roman fucking, what, kicked him? He or sidestepped him? No, he sidestepped him. Yeah, he sidestepped him. Braun runs through the door into a bunch of boxes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When did this happen? This that's was afterwards match. when they were going to Raw Talk. Oh, it was all, that explains why I didn't see it, because Raw Talk sucks. Yeah, and like, as soon as they got to Raw Talk, uh, like Malcolm said, Braun screamed, I'm not done with you! And then he ran through the door after getting sidestepped, and ran into a bunch of boxes. And then, uh, okay. and then, uh, and then uh, yeah. Roman, hit, Roman hit uh, Braun's arm, like, yeah. hit with the door, like, three times. Yeah. Okay, that's why he didn't show up to Raw. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And okay. Kurt Angle, General Manager Kurt Angle, said that he had a... Rotator cuff injury, so... Torn rotator cuff. Torn rotator cuff, yeah, what Malcolm said. I know what we're getting at. Insert pay-per-view name here. We're getting an ambulance match. <gasps> and guess what, fellas? I called it on the preview. <gasps> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's going to be great. Anyway, anyway, Braun Strowman, like we said, got the win. 11 minutes, 50 seconds. I'm not done with you yet. What he said. <laughs> Four and a half out of five. Now, to put in technicalities, nobody got a point for Braun Strowman winning because we all called Reigns. Yeah. But no. I got the point because I said Braun Strowman will stand tall and wreck Roman Reigns' shit. In which he did. He did. So, you know, like he said, he got a point, and that's why he's WWE Wonder Shop Champion. Yep. The official scoring was four to two to two. And me and this guy are tied, but we're not going to play tug of war like Brock and Roman did a few years ago. Yeah, they're just going to be co United States champions. Yeah. <laughs> but let's get on with the conclusion of the mm. review. Superstar matches and overall rating, as you already know. Superstars of the night go to 
Chris Jericho, Cesaro, Sheamus, Alexa Bliss, Roman Reigns, and Braun Strowman. <gasps> Match of the night go to Jericho versus Owens, Aries versus Neville, Bailey versus Bliss, Reigns versus Strowman. Overall rating of this pay-per-view better than what we expected. Three and a half. As much as we shat on that. And yeah. we shat on it pretty damn hard. And it was, from our preview, it looked like it was just... Going to be shit. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be fast lane 2014. Yeah, and this when guy I got mad as fuck. Oh wait, it wasn't 2014. It was 15. 2015. Well, Let's yeah. not talk about that. But anyway, from this guy with his al allergies last week, he didn't give a fuck. We didn't give a fuck. But like we said, it was better than expected. They actually, pulled it out. Yeah. Next, we got backlash. Yay! Smackdown backlash. pay per view. Yeah. And from the looks of it, actually, like, next we have Takeover Chicago. Then backlash. Oh, and then, then backlash. backlash. And then backlash. Yeah. But anyway, backlash. That is our review of WWE's payback. As usual, the usual plugs. Follow us on social media: Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Follow me. What do I know? I'm just a fan. I'm just an idiot. Stupid idiot. Idiot. Um, Devin, Devin Cooks, Sarah Dorcopedia. Anything I'm missing? <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, got a special announcement to come very, very soon. So keep your eyes glued to our social media and our YouTube. New logo coming, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I am the one and only Rodimus Prime with the co-holder of this championship, Boo. Mainstream Malcolm. Yeah. Boo. Fuck the Celtics. Fuck no, I'm and I'm War Machine MJ. We'll see you fuckers next time.